The world's oceans are vast and unforgiving. To patrol these waters, powerful warships are needed. Enter the Aegis warships, some of the most advanced surface combatants ever built. These vessels are more than just ships, they are floating fortresses. They bristle with weapons and sensors, their mission to protect themselves and other ships from any threat. Aegis warships are not about brute force alone. They are about sophisticated technology. At their heart lies the Aegis combat system. This system is the brain and nervous system of the ship. It allows the crew to see, track and engage multiple targets simultaneously. Imagine a chess grandmaster playing dozens of games at once, never missing a move. That's the Aegis system in action. These ships are built for modern naval warfare. They are designed to counter threats like anti-ship missiles. These missiles are a serious danger. They are fast, maneuverable, and designed to sink warships. The Aegis system is designed to meet this challenge head on. It is a shield against the storm of modern naval combat. Imagine a spider web, but instead of silk, it's woven from radars, computers, and missiles. That's the Aegis combat system. This system gives the Aegis ship a complete picture of the battlefield. At the heart of the system is the Anspy-1 radar. This radar can see hundreds of miles tracking multiple targets. It can also think and react. The Aegis system reacts to threats in real time. 90 anti-ship missiles. It's a terrifying thought. Each missile carrying a warhead capable of crippling a warship. Launching that many missiles simultaneously is a massive attack. It's designed to overwhelm even the most sophisticated defenses. For an Aegis ship, facing such an attack would be the ultimate test of its capabilities. These missiles wouldn't arrive all at once. They would likely come in waves from different directions. Some might even be stealth missiles designed to evade radar. This is not a random swarm, but a coordinated attack. The missiles would be aimed at overwhelming the ship's defenses, leaving it vulnerable. Facing such a threat focuses the mind. It highlights the challenge the Aegis system is designed to meet. The ship would be a lone bastion in a storm of fire and steel. Its survival would depend on the skill of its crew and the capabilities of the Aegis system. Section 4 Layers of Defense Radar, Interceptors and Decoys An Aegis ship doesn't just rely on one line of defense. It has layers, each designed to stop incoming missiles. Think of it like a medieval castle, with outer walls, inner walls, and finally, the keep itself. First, the SPY-1 radar detects the incoming missiles. It tracks their speed, altitude, and trajectory, feeding that information to the ship's combat system. This early warning is crucial, giving the ship precious time to react. The Aegis system calculates the optimal response, preparing to launch its countermeasures. Next come the interceptors. These are missiles designed to destroy other missiles. The Aegis ship has a variety of interceptors, each suited for different ranges and types of targets. Some interceptors are designed for long-range engagements, while others are for close-in defense. If missiles get through the first two layers, the ship still has tricks up its sleeve. It can deploy decoys, which are designed to confuse enemy missiles. These decoys mimic the radar signature of the ship, drawing the missiles away from their target. Section 5, David versus Goliath, Missile Offense versus Aegis Defense. The outcome of a battle between an Aegis ship and 90 anti-ship missiles is not a foregone conclusion. It's a clash of titans, a battle of offense versus defense. The missiles have the advantage of numbers and surprise. They can be launched from long distances, making it difficult for the ship to react in time. Some missiles might even be supersonic, making them incredibly difficult to intercept. However, the Aegis ship has its own strengths. Its radar is incredibly powerful, capable of detecting even stealth missiles. The Aegis system can track hundreds of targets simultaneously and calculate intercept courses for multiple missiles at once. And the ship's interceptors are specifically designed to destroy anti-ship missiles. The success of the defense depends on many factors. The type of missiles used, the launch range, the sea conditions, and even the skill of the crews on both sides play a role. Section 6. Surviving the Onslaught, a question of numbers and technology. Can an Aegis ship survive 90 anti-ship missiles? The Aegis combat system is a marvel of technology, but it has limits. Even the most advanced defenses can be overwhelmed. The sheer number of missiles is a significant challenge. An Aegis ship carries a limited supply, Facing 90 missiles means facing a potential missile gap. 
Furthermore, anti-ship missile technology is constantly evolving. Some missiles use sophisticated countermeasures to evade interceptors. This cat-and-mouse game between offense and defense is constantly evolving. Ultimately, the survival of an Aegis ship would depend on a combination of factors, the skill of its crew and the effectiveness of its defenses.